Hi there guys, it's Wayne McMaster here. In today's video, we're gonna be asking the question, should you take the time to learn how to use Adobe Photoshop? Now, as someone who's a graphic designer, I understand the power of visuals, but you're probably wondering, is this something you should really take the time to learn yourself? Is it something you should take the time to understand the skill behind, to be able to uh, use the tool and create things yourself, or is it something you're better off outsourcing? Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna be looking at Photoshop, the skills that you can learn and how they can be useful to you in regards to your business or your life on social media. So talking about visual media, the first thing is it stands out. I did a video on this recently on how video, visual media is the thing that grabs people's attention. It's the first thing that you actually see in most cases. And therefore it's something that is when done in a compelling and really uh, sort of catching way, you can really draw people's attention, get your message across and even get them to take action based on that visual. It's really good at representing a problem. So let's say you wanna learn how to use a tool such as a hammer. If you have their how to use a hammer, people get the message once they've read it. But if you have a picture of a hammer there, before people have even read the title, they know that there's something to do with a hammer. So putting in visuals and understanding those elements, you can process things faster in visuals than you can with words. So in, a, in other words, using Photoshop, learning Photoshop and the nature of visuals can help you really grab more attention quite quickly. The other thing is visuals have a feel about them. They can produce not only a feel, but an emotion, and they become more memorable by nature than words in a lot of cases to a lot of people, not necessarily everyone. But it's a great way to create, as this is why we have things like branding, logos, because you create a look, you create an image that is memorable, and therefore you can convey different messages or have different functions using similar consistent branding or imagery to uh, create a memorable sort of feel. So when people see the golden arches, they know straight away that Macca's is there, uh, or McDonald's, I should say. So understanding things like that with branding and visuals really helps people to connect with your brand and who you are so they become, you become more recognizable. So to put it simply, our brains are wired for visuals. So you can either do it yourself or you can hire someone else, like I said. And in another video I did recently, I talked about things such as uh, time, budget, and skill. You need to make sure, I mean, this is obviously a video about the skill. Can you, is it worth investing the skill? First of all, I guess is, do you have the time or would you rather spend the money? Is a simple question you gotta ask yourself. Because understanding this uh, difference between doing it yourself or hiring someone can be uh, more profitable if you decide you're too busy or you've got money in your budget to hire someone. But there are still some instances where understanding basic Photoshop can help. So uh, we're gonna sort of touch on that as we go. So touching on the main cons, time is the biggest factor. It takes time to learn. If you're using Photoshop, it takes time to use. So obviously you've got that issue of time. You do have to invest time in order to get ahead. So like I said, you need to weigh up whether you're willing to invest the time. The other thing is there's a cost involved in Photoshop. You do have to pay a monthly fee or an annual fee to Creative Cloud if you want to continue using it. Now this can range, this, uh, I pay about $90 a month for the full suite, but you can get cheaper versions. I'm not sure the price is right now, but you do actually have to pay for Photoshop if you want to use it. Unless you've got an older version, I generally recommend upgrading if you want to stay up to date, but if you're happy with an older version that you have, you can also you know, keep using that. So. But generally speaking, there's a cost involved with using Photoshop since you have to pay Adobe for the use of the software. So ultimately, if you're willing to dedicate that little bit of money every month, um, that's, a, that's one thing you have to consider for yourself also. So let's weigh that up against the pros because there's gonna be far more pros than cons, but still are the pros applicable to you might be the question you need to ask yourself. So we're gonna run through a few simple ideas and a few things that I think are really a good reason to learn Photoshop for a lot of people out there, especially if they're doing business online. Now, first of all, if you don't have a big business, you can create your own products and services. You can actually become a someone who becomes a photo editor or a designer or do basic services with Photoshop, or you can create products. I've actually got uh, Facebook templates on my website that you can buy for creating cover images, but you can also do things like print on demand products like t-shirts. Um, you can even create imagery for other products that are digital, such as you know covers for eBooks. So, this is a skill that if you have a lot of time and not a lot of money, it can be used to create products and services to generate an income. So that's the first thing I would like to say that if you're not sure, maybe you, if you're looking at starting a business or you're not sure where to go, um, then that's actually something you could consider actually learning because it can become a skill you can make money from. So that's the first pro I would say, and it's definitely worked out for me because I have a 
basically a business in graphic design and web design and Photoshop is a pretty key component of that. This is a really powerful one if you want someone to create social media graphics for you, which I quite regularly get people emailing me about social media graphics for events um, and I consistently get nice little jobs that way. And although I don't necessarily always design them in Photoshop, it can all be done in Photoshop very effectively for social media because it's generally based, it's a pixel based media for online. So Photoshop is probably the best way to design for social media images in general. The second one is you can do your own photo editing. Quite simply, you take a photo, you can adjust colors, you can cut people out, you can blur things out, move things. You can improve the look of the photos you take by doing your own photo editing. And once again, any of the skills I mentioned from here out can also be hired out. So photo editing is a pretty awesome skill and very easy to do in Photoshop with a handful of tools. So that's another skill you can learn that is you know, quite beneficial. Now also there are basic functions and quick fixes. So if you create something yourself, and you need to change it, you can pop in and you know, make those quick fixes or changes. But also, if you're subbing work out uh, to a service or to a freelancer and you need something changed in the next 10 minutes and you've got the original Photoshop file because maybe you've pre-organized it, you can go in, change a bit of text, change a color on something and have that file ready to go in five or 10 minutes. But if you are outsourcing to someone and you can't make those changes and they're not available, you might have to wait hours, days, or you know, a week or more just to get a simple change because maybe they're just not available. So even learning the basics of Photoshop can help you make really simple changes. Even if you don't have the PSD file, sometimes it can be as simple as opening up or importing an image into Photoshop from a PDF, um, depending on what the use is gonna be, and simply making, you know, removing a bit of uh, text or something and adding it in yourself. So even if you only learn the basics for simple edits, it can be very useful for you as well. Now I have kind of mentioned this, but social media images. Social media is a huge part of online business. It's a huge part of what we do. So understanding and how to use Photoshop to create your own social media images is a really, really good perk of having Photoshop skills because it's, uh, let's face it, if you have a business and you're kind of like bootstrapping it, you don't have a lot of money, you can create your own images in the beginning. You can spend time establishing a brand or templates or whatever it is that you use for yourself, or you can create a unique image each time. You can do this yourself and save, you know, giving someone 20, 30, 50 or hundred dollars for a social media image. You can sit down, pump out a bunch in a day really quickly once you get this hang of it and you've saved a ton of money and you've created some compelling visuals to grab attention on social media. So that's a big one I think a lot of people would be attracted to when learning how to use Photoshop. Also, if you have a website, making quick updates to images that you use on there is another big thing. Because once again, if you have to wait for a, a freelancer to do it, that could take you time. But if you just wanna change an image, you just wanna resize an image or just add something in, you can quite easily do that in Photoshop, export the image and upload it onto your website. So simple website image updates is another powerful reason to learn how to use Photoshop. And finally, why would you choose Photoshop over something like say Canva, which is free? The reason is you can do more with Photoshop. Canva is an amazing piece of software. I still use it. I still recommend it to a lot of people because it's great for doing some basic designs, putting in images, putting text and colors on there. But Photoshop allows you to do more. It really gets you to, allows you to really edit the photo, get into the little nitty gritty parts, make edits and create some really cool looking graphics um, because your expertise uh, goes further with Photoshop. So that's the reason why I generally recommend Photoshop if you're getting a little bit more serious and also it's gonna be easier for you to make those quick edits in Photoshop than in Canva for certain file types. So um, Canva's always gonna be there uh, as well and the free services will always be there but Photoshop is pretty much the standard for image editing and I think you can do a lot more with it than most of the other programs out there. Now, what happens if you stop using Photoshop and you start outsourcing? Like I said, you've got the ability to make quick edits, but also you've got the ability to communicate. You understand what people are capable of. You're gonna be able to communicate with a freelancer more efficiently, more effectively knowing what they're capable of using Photoshop, because you know, hey, look, just do this. It's a simple thing, I know it's simple, and you know not, you're not gonna create any massive problems. So it's not like it's a skill you have to keep using to take advantage of. Having the knowledge of how Photoshop works and how programs like it work can help you be a more effective person to outs who's outsourcing work. So that's another thing to consider is it's not something that you have to actually learn and keep using. It's something you can keep with you to become more effective when hiring other people. So it's really a skill that keeps going on and 
going beyond the simple use of the tool. Now, the last thing I wanna say is, it's just a lot of fun. You can have a lot of fun with Photoshop and uh, the way I started out when I was in school was Photoshopping pictures of my friends and doing fun stuff. Have fun with it if you're gonna learn, do some fun projects, play with some photos, and um, you know, it's just a lot of fun. It's fun to learn, feeling that progress of new knowledge and feeling like you're getting somewhere in Photoshop is a really fun experience. So overall, I would say have fun with it. I've actually got a video which uh, discusses the basics of how Photoshop works. Uh, it's called the introduction to Photoshop. I'll pop a link in the description below, but um, it's just a fun, it's a great tool to learn. It's fun to do and um, yeah, hopefully you find it fun to use as well. So I hope that has given you some insight as to whether or not you would like to learn to use Photoshop. Uh, it's just something I recommend to a lot of people, especially if you're doing any kind of online business because visual media is taking over. You may not be able to outsource straight away. Photoshop is a powerful tool you can do just about anything with. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please consider giving it a like. Any questions or thoughts, please leave a comment below. And of course, if you want more like this, please consider subscribing. It does help support the channel and I appreciate uh, any support that uh, you guys can give me. It helps me to create more free tutorials and information like this for you. So uh, if you could do that, it's greatly appreciated. Otherwise, have a great day and I hope to see you again soon.